So testosterone in men, who's a candidate? I and mean, at what point should you do something or have your levels checked? Right, so I, I encourage all men who have symptoms to get their levels checked. And what are symptoms of low testosterone? Okay. I have guys that sit in front of me every day. They could be 30 years old, they could be 40 years old, they could be 60 years old. This happens at different periods of, of, of time for everyone. So everyone is certainly unique. They'll complain of a lack of energy. They get home from work, work Randy, and they're just tired. They don't have the same get up and go. Certainly libido is a big one. You know, guys will go a week or two without having sex and they say it's not a problem. Or they're not having waking up with morning erections, which is fairly common when you have high testosterone levels. Um, they may have difficulty losing weight or a lot of guys will say, you know what? My workouts are terrible. I just cannot get through a workout at the gym. These are the guys that need to sit down. They need to have their levels tested. And we need to have an honest discussion about what is the true cause of all these symptoms. Many times it is testosterone, and if you replace their, replenish their testosterone levels, they feel much better. But again, it's nutrition, it's diet, okay. it's sleep, it's multifactorial, but if you can get those all working synergistically and you give them testosterone, they will feel dramatically different. So if, if you are symptomatic, I don't care if you're 30, I don't care if you're 35, I have a few patients who are in their 20s with testosterones in the 190s who do great on testosterone. I have a lot of patients who are 40. My favorite patient to take care of are the guy who's 38, 39, 40, and they really start to notice that decline because if you can catch them early and you can prevent them from having those symptoms, one, their relationships stay strong, they can keep themselves in shape. They don't suffer that, uh, that, that lack of energy that, that cripples most men when they're working and at the time of their life when they need to be making the most money in their 40s and 50s. Uh, they have energy. Interesting. Yeah. So, so what do you do? Okay, so you do blood work. Are you returning their levels to what? To where it used to right. be? Like the men, when they were youthful? What the science says, Randy, in the, in the Journal of American Heart Association, in December of 2013, they did a, a complete analysis of what the science says about testosterone in men. Okay. And what they found was Men who have higher testosterone levels have low overall mortality from all causes. That means they die less from all causes, cancer and heart disease. The science also says that the lower your testosterone levels, guys who have testosterone levels in the lower end of the normal range, which is 350 to 1200, have an increased risk of obesity, increased risk of diabetes. They have an increased risk of atherosclerosis, which is heart disease. So we wanna get their levels up to the upper quartile of the normal range, which is where the science says they'll have uh, decreased visceral fat, decreased abdominal obesity. What about prostate cancer? I mean, definitely a concern. It's a concern because we check what we call PSA levels annually, but okay. the science has been pretty clear and the science has spoken and the jury has given their verdict. So men who actually are most at risk for prostate cancer have the lowest testosterone levels of any group that we actually test. Men who have the highest testosterone levels when you're younger get to have the lowest rate of prostate cancer. So there really is no link between testosterone and prostate cancer anymore. They used to think that there was, Randy, but that's not even something that patients really need to, to, to um, concern themselves with. Okay, so, but testing is key. Absolutely. And then we, you say things like, you have to look at their diet, you have to get them sleeping again, that, that it's not just about testosterone. My Elaborate on that. Of course, my, my favorite patient to take care of, Randy, is a motivated patient, someone who is, takes their health seriously. Because the truth is, my hormone levels are dialed in. I take testosterone every day, my levels are optimal. If I don't sleep well, or if my nutrition's poor, my energy levels are terrible. I still drag at the gym. Uh, if, I eat, if I eat terribly, my libido isn't great. So testosterone is one piece of the puzzle. It's a major component for guys who like to eat, who, are, who wanna eat clean and, make, and, and, and work out and take care of themselves. If you, if you think you're gonna take testosterone and still eat pizza and drink tons of beer and drink coffee all day and you're gonna feel great, that's not the truth, that's not okay. reality what I see in my practice. What I do see in my practice is this, is this. Men who like to go to the gym, who care about their health, who have declining testosterone levels, if we optimize their levels, we change their life. That's a fact, I see that in my practice okay. all day long. Men who do don't wanna guys? Do you ever have guys, by the way, that, that uh, you were talking about how the women give credit for reversals. I mean, do you ever, do men say, this has changed my life, I work better, I perform better? Randy, I make a living uh, getting stories like that from patients. And those are my favorite patients to take care of because they're easy. You give me a 40 or 50 year old guy or a 60 year old guy who likes to take care of themselves, they've always worked out, they like to eat clean, um, you give them the testosterone and you will change their life. That, that's, that's the most rewarding part of my job, it's what it's really what gets me out of bed in the morning is I know I'm gonna help these guys. I know there's a guy right now who's watching this, who's saying he just described me, um, 
who's going to come in my office within uh, within a month. If he does and follows my plan, it's going to be lights out. It's going to be life changing. Now, I want to make one point about testosterone. I have a lot of guys come to me who said, you know what, Dr. Breen, I've been tested by a doctor and he told me my testosterone levels are fine. I yeah. said, well, what were your testosterone levels? He said they were 450. I said, let me explain something to you. The testosterone is a reference range just like other hormones. The low end is 350. The high end is 1200. He's telling you you're fine because your levels are within the range. Within the range is not where you want to be. Remember, we have to follow the science. The science that says guys who have testosterone levels in the upper quartile have a reduction in mortality from all causes. But the range has changed as you get old. The range has changed. So a 25 year old range is different than a 50 year old range. Exactly. If we put your age in as 18 and the guy's 60, he's going to come up deficient, where at 60, he's going to come up as normal. Now, interesting. It's, 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 it's fascinating. Now, the thing, the thing with, um, with, with, with those guys, if I'm, just, if I'm describing you at home right now, you've been told you had a normal testosterone level. But you're tired all the time. And you're tired all the time. Low libido. You come in, get on testosterone, and see how you feel. Now, again, if you do all those things that we discussed, you, know, you, you, you improve your nutrition, you want to get out and work out, you want to improve your sleep, the difference will be dramatic. It will absolutely be dramatic. So the normal reference range for guys is, is very confusing, and it's confusing for physicians too because... We were taught, if they're in the range, they're normal, ignore the patient. Hormones don't act like light switches, Randy. Okay. If they're in the range, they're on. And if they're out of range, they're off. That's how doctors in general are okay. taught to treat them. We know hormones are more like dimmer switches. The higher you dial it up, the better the effect, even on a cellular level, because you can have a normal, t I have guys who have testosterone levels of 600 with all the symptoms of low testosterone. How can that be? We know that it's not just about the levels in the blood. We know that all hormones have receptors. It's like a lock and key. Receptors get old, they age, they don't become as efficient. So you actually have to give more testosterone in order to get the same effect. We all know men lose, uh, people lose their hearing as they age. We have to speak louder in order for them to hear yeah. the same level of volume that we can talk to someone else. It's kind of similar with hormones. And it's been in the hormone literature for a long period of time. You get hormone receptor resistance. So even some guys have normal levels, they just need more. So testosterone though, I mean supplementation is not a lot of money, right? From no. a compounding pharmacist? Testosterone costs $40 a month. It was the same cost as my breakfast this morning. When I took my wife out for an omelet, it was $45 actually. So no, it's, it's very affordable. It's affordable for 90% of the population that I see. I, don't, I never have a patient come to me and say, geez, I can't afford that testosterone. It's $42 a month or $44 a month, depending on if you're using injection or cream, but it's highly affordable. And if you want to get started, all you have to do is go to our website, Randy. It's drbreen.com. Do they see you, by the way, at your center every time? Every time. I actually sit down with my patients for two hours. The first time we meet, it's two hours. What do you guys talk about? No, we, I'm kidding. <laughs> what do we talk about? What I've found is you can take an entire medical history on a patient, and then you get to the nutrition. They're having memory problems, they're, they're tired, they're, they're not feeling good, they're depressed, and then you get to the nutrition. I always ask patients, how many diet sodas do you drink a day? I drink about six to seven Mountain Dews. There's your answer. It's not until you really dig deep into a patient's life, you really have to ask them, What's, are you happy in your marriage? I ask every patient, are you happy in your marriage? Why? Because if you're stressed, it affects your health. I know how much coffee they drink, I know how much diet soda they drink, I know how much water they drink. Patients are dehydrated. They're drinking Crystal Light. They're drinking diet sodas. They're drinking Coca-Colas. All these things that are driving up ins insulin and causing all the hormonal effects that we're trying to treat. So for a lot of patients, it's, hey, cut out the Mountain Dew and see me in a month, and I guarantee you'll feel better. So you have to absolutely get. So it takes me about two hours to get to these patients to really find, figure out what's going on in their And life. you have a program where you, they can choose you as their doctor. That means you take care of them. Absol Is that right? Absolutely. My patients have my cell phone. They can call me, text me anytime. I tell them it's never inappropriate if you have a health question. If you're at the supermarket and someone says, hey, you should be on Quenzyme Q10. You can text me and say, Dr. Breen, the guy at Vitamin Shop just told me to take CoQ10. <laughs> what do you think? And I'll give you my expert medical advice based on your medical history and your background. Take it if you're over 40, by the way. If you're over... The short answer? If you're on a statin, if you have heart disease or hypertension, you should be on 100 to 200 milligrams of CoQ10. Again, I'm not your patient. I mean, you're not my patient, so I'd have to actually sit down okay, with you. Okay. But for most patients with heart disease, they have hypertension, they're on a statin cholesterol-lowering medication. The athletes need CoQ10 because they burn through it. It's really important for energy metabolism. So yeah, we sit down with them and we really, really get into their history and their life. And, and you have people that feel better like the first week, the second week, the first When month. I took testosterone at 38, it changed my life immediately. Now, always 
under promise and over deliver. So usually, uh, if, if someone's willing to make changes and follow my program, within a month, they will notice a dramatic difference. What's the difference between, because you go to a compounding pharmacist that makes yeah. the testosterone, what's the difference between that and like Androgel that's all over the news? Correct. So a compounding pharmacist, I can choose whatever dose I want. Androgel is 10 milligrams per gram or 20 milligrams per gram for their higher dose. I could use 100 milligrams per gram. I can use 200 milligrams per gram. I could put it in a cream. I could put it in a gel. I can put it in testosterone sipinate and have them inject it. I can use it in oral trochee. So a compounding pharmacist, we can customize the testosterone for that specific patient where Androgel is your 10 milligrams per gram, your 20 milligrams per gram. So call your office or visit your website first. Absolutely. Go to the website, educate yourself, call my patient okay. coordinator. She will walk you through step by step. And within a few days, you can be sitting in front of me for two hours and we can be you know, changing your health forever. Okay, good. And you walk your talk. Absolutely. Uh, you don't drink or smoke or anything like that? I gave that you up a no long time all, ago. Right? Just I with have your family. zero fun at all. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so I want to thank you for coming on the show. Great You're stuff. You're welcome, Randy. Great. You've been watching the Wellness Hour. I'm Randy Alvarez. We'll be right back.